I'm not gonna lie, it gets pretty crazy and you need lots of baby wipes, paper towels, water, anything that cleans up messes. but she is a four-year-old that has Down syndrome and she does like to get into a lot of stuff. Like a lot of our toddlers do, a lot of our preschoolers do. Either way, I have to keep her busy through the day so I can homeschool my other three kids. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you how, how I basically do it and give you some tips along the ways. This is a collaboration with Mama of Five. The playlist is gonna be down in the description box below. So let me just show you my tips and if you need more, check out the playlist. <laughs> Say hi, Naomi. You're really good at that. I am shocked that you guys aren't sick of her jumping in to say hi all the time. In our classroom, I have this shelf that has a lot of puzzles and train tracks and the globe, just hands-on activities that aren't really messy. And I do rotate them throughout the year, but basically they're there for Naomi to grab whenever she wants to play with something. Even though sometimes it may only take her 15 minutes to play with it. But all of these things require minimal assistance from me and her sister. And like I said, it just makes life easier. Obviously, I like my older kids to have independent work. It, once again, frees up time, whether it's from the class that they're taking at our co-op or if it's something from me. Ethan, you're working on your art assignment? Yep. Let me see. It's a whale. silhouette. That's a whale. A whale. Cool. Ah. Now, I use Big Sister a lot when it comes no, no. to getting the boys to do their schoolwork. No. These no. two will play together while I work independently with the boys. No. Whether I'm doing an AW. No reading a history book. Most of the time when I read history, I include all of them. Hannah, can you give her one to put away? See if she can match the color. Let her do it. Give her, she wants the pinchers. Can you give her the pinchers? So this right here is a great game to use for the kids. Now Naomi's matching colors. She's using the magnetic pool to pull up the fish. While Hannah, there's little fish in here that have math symbols. Now she's not doing division yet, but we've got multiplication and addition. But like I mentioned before, there's colors, sorry. No, ma'am. And she can match them. Naomi can place them back in the container. She can use the pinchers to pull them out. Naomi can I'm learn counting from sister. Now, of course, we all know that teaching is the best way of learning. That's how you can retain information. So having her sister teach her numbers, is like killing two birds with like five stones. Like that's five stones, five. I don't know why I picked five, just. There's also sticks in there and I think Hannah just uses them for fun, but I think they're tally sticks. Right, and Naomi can fall into it. Look at it. I make cool designs on the house and cool designs on the front on. And honestly, they're both doing math together. Now, I do have another math curriculum for Hannah. This is not her only math. And actually, I need to start working with you on that now, girl. No, no. No, you should say yes. For Hannah, I do use Right Start Math because she is very, very hands-on. And Naomi is going to be continuing working on her fish. Ethan, why are you walking around behind me? Oh, you're gonna work on your other painting? Okay, so I do like to keep Naomi close to me so she feels like she's a part of something. Is it now, do you wanna sit in my lap? You wanna sit in my lap? Yellow is the sun. If you wanna know, it repeats to 10. Yellow is the sun. This is a Six is five and one. Now, no. add one more and say how many it is. Nine. Good no. job. Um, now enter two tens. We start over. Now enter two tens. It's like the sun, no. sun. No. Great, now add eight. No. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
two, ten, eight. Look, look. You can take the book. Are you gonna go look at the book? Okay, go have fun reading. Um, we we read a lot in this family, so for her, you can the book, cannot stop reading. Wait, look what Naomi's doing. Oh, she's gonna play the song on the piano. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we got nine. <laughs> Nine tens and five. Nine tens and five. And add one more. Good job. So another thing we do is music. Music's an important part of our household. That's not music. That's for making on the piano, which I need to put a stop to. But... We listen to music all day long. Um, I can't really play that for you or show you that right now because of copyright stuff, but that's something that just kind of gets Naomi dancing, gets the kids, I don't know, music focuses them. Everything from Perry Grip to Christian music to kids' Christian music. <laughs> so a couple things happened during that math session. Uh, Naomi went and got herself some food. Now we know all kids, especially toddlers and preschoolers, get hungry and they want to get their own food. So I try to make healthy food available to them at all times. I do sometimes have them do lunch free for all or I'll make something really quick for them like peanut butter and carrots or fruit, or if I'm in a good mood, we'll do mac and cheese. I don't know, not as much, but we do sometimes. I'll be honest, I'm not perfect. And chicken nuggets and fruit. And chicken nuggets sometimes too. And butter. I don't give you butter. I don't, oh, butter on toast. Well, that's just sometimes with breakfast. But the point is, is that I lay out sometimes nuts and fruit, fruit, nuts, and veggies, but I don't lay out the junk. And of course, they have to clean up after themselves, and that was all part of it. Now, after lunch, I actually like to sit down and do our Bible study during this time. We are currently using the Grow With Me Bible. It is a Messianic TLV children's Bible. It's very, very simple. 52 weeks takes you through the whole Bible. So it's a nice little overview, super easy. I like to incorporate all of my kids. We all sit at the table. Naomi sits in her high chair and I find ways to just keep her entertained as the boys and even Hannah read through scriptures together. Hannah has her own little Bible. It's called my own keepsake Bible, which I think is perfect for this kindergarten, first grade, second grade level. She can color into her Bible as we read the stories and it just keeps her really entertained. She loves it, loves it. After we do all of that, I like to do My Brother's Keeper. This is a pretty trendy Bible study. So if you haven't heard of it, I'm gonna go ahead and stick a link down below. You should just go ahead to that website, check it out, see what kind of resources they have because it's just a really, really good curriculum. Now, Bible study is the last thing we did, and at that point, my kids got to enjoy some free time. But fast forward to the end of the day. I love reading books to my kids, and I really believe when you read books out loud, everyone needs to be together. And this is something we really strive to do with Naomi, even though she doesn't understand those read aloud books. Same is true with the Bible studies. Same is true with read aloud books. So it's hard. It's super duper challenging, but we manage and this is kind of our day in the life i hope you guys really did enjoy this get some tips that you can go and use in your family if not leave me some that you have down in the comment section below i really love interacting with you guys and talking to you guys i learned so much from every single one of you so until then if you're interested in checking out some of our other videos we're going to place them around here and um, of course until then I will see you in our next video. Bye.